Hey y'all, my name is Karen Goodmarable and I'm the author of Yaya and the Sea. And I'd like to read it for you today. Is that all right? All right, here we go. On the first day of spring, when the city is quiet and still, mommy wakes me up before the sun. I was dreaming I was a mermaid, a mermaid that could fly. I do not want to open my eyes. Then I remember something big is happening today. Mommy and I are going to the sea. I hop out of bed and press my hands on the window. The sky is a deep, dark blue. Mommy lays out my clothes, black pants, green sweater, polka dot socks, and my magical purple light up sneakers. There's also a baggie and my piggy bank. Pick the shiniest dimes, mommy says. We are going to take them to Mama Ocean and make a wish. Mommy brushes my hair into an Afro puff and we put on our jackets. Off we go. First stop is the bodega. Mommy gets me an egg and cheese sandwich and orders herself a cup of coffee. Cream and two sugars, she tells the cashier. The steam from her drink makes smoky puffs in the air. There are not many people outside, just the African ladies near the subway station asking Mommy if they can braid my hair. Not today, sisters, Mommy says. We're going to the sea, I shout with a skip. Mommy pays our fare. I push through the turnstile first. The A train speeds into the station. When the doors open, Mommy's three friends are sitting in the first car. They have bags on their laps and smiles on their faces. Yaya is here, says Auntie Renee with a hug. Perfect, says Auntie Dream with a nod. Our little mermaid, says Auntie Stephanie with a wink. The train rumbles and whooshes underground from station to station. I have a book, but I like watching the passengers come and go and listening to mommy and auntie's talk and laugh. After so many stops, the subway stretches up a hill and is suddenly outside. We are the only ones left in our car. Mommy holds my hand as we walk off the train, through the station, out the door, down a sidewalk. And there is the beach. Mommy, the sea. I squeal, giving her hand a squeeze. As we walk toward the water, mommy and auntie stop their laughing and get really quiet. The air is cool, so I put my hands in my pockets as we shuffle our shoes against the sand. We stop on the shore just before the baby waves reach our toes and we lay out a big blanket. Mommy and aunties open their bags. They each have white clothes and white towels. Auntie Renee has a jar of molasses, sticky and sweet. Auntie Dream has a bouquet of flowers. Auntie Stephanie has slices of watermelon. Mommy has our seven shiny dimes. They sit down, hold hands, and breathe together. Then, one by one, Mommy and aunties gather their gifts and each takes two flowers, one white, one blue. Mommy smiles at me. Stay right here, Yaya. Mommy will be right back. We're going to greet Mama Ocean, thank her for her grace, and give her our gifts. 
with flowers in their hands and no shoes on their feet, they walk quietly toward the sea, past where the sand is wet, past the baby waves that tickle toes, and straight into the water. It must be so cold. Mommy and aunties each stand in their own space and say prayers only Mama and Ocean can hear. They give her their gifts of molasses, watermelon, coins, and flowers. Auntie Renee's head is bowed. Auntie Dream faces the horizon. Auntie Stephanie is washing her locks. Mommy is crying happy tears. Then come more gifts from Mama Ocean. Mommy gives her a scarf. Auntie Dream gives her a ring. Auntie Stephanie gives her a head wrap. Auntie Renee gives her a dress. And they lay the rest of their clothes on Mama Ocean. I look around the beach. I am glad it is just us. Soon, Mommy and aunties run out of the water, giggling. They scoot fast across the sand, the way I scoot into Mommy's arms after my bath. I hand Mommy and aunties their towels, and they dry off in a hurry. Then they slip on their all-white clothes, pack their bags, and walk toward the train station, looking straight ahead. Mommy, I whisper, the flowers are still in the sand. Mama Ocean will take them soon, she says. It is the first day of spring and we are leaving the past behind. No looking back. I try to do as Mommy says and not turn around, but I sneak a peek behind me toward Mama Ocean. The baby waves play with the flowers as the sun rises in the sky. The end. So this is a book about ritual and making wishes. And I talk a little bit about that on the very last page of the book in the editor's note. And one of the things you should know about Yaya and the Sea is that it is based on a true story. I did this very same spring ritual um, with my friends, and there is a real live Yaya who also right now lives in Harlem. And one of the things I want you to think about is what ways can you make a ritual happen? Meaning rituals are things that we do um, like brushing our teeth every morning or singing happy birthday um, before we blow out candles. Blowing out candles is a ritual too. Um, so in what ways can you create a ritual that will make your life better or fun or make somebody happy? Maybe we can think about that together. Thank you so much for listening. I'm so happy to have read Yaya and the C to you and let me know what you think. All right, bye.